Okay viewers, time for another TRS-80 video information series. This one's number three, talking about the TRS-80 15 meg hard disk system. Catalog number 264155. It's a hard disk. There it is, sitting on top of my Model 3 there. Um, these were super expensive. They hold, held 15 megabytes of um, data, which, well, doesn't sound like very much by today's standards at all but uh, considering that the average pr program size for these computers was between sort of 16 and 48k of memory uh, you can hold heaps of them so anyway I'll uh, give you a quick tour of um, the hard drive because here's one I opened up before the main brains of the hard drive is this controller board on top um, it's all the smarts that uh, allows the MFM hard drive to talk to the TRS-80. The hard drive itself lives under there. Um, keen spotters will uh, notice that that's not an original one, but it does the job fine. Uh, we have a front control panel, um, which uh, uh, tells us the thing's running. We have an activity light here. Flashes when the thing steps, tracks. A protect button, just a push on, push off, um, to uh, protect uh, the data on the hard drive, and the um, famous uh, key switch on, switch off for uh, for the hard drive. Um, there's a cooling fan out back, and although we can't see it here, the power supply for the whole thing lives uh, more or less underneath that um, that circuit board there. Um, Okay, so I'll just show you the back of this thing. Uh, on the back of these, there are connectors for the computer in. Um, and if we had a, uh, a secondary hard drive, uh, they would plug into the control out and data A uh, for the first secondary hard drive and B for the second secondary and C for the third secondary hard drive so um, relatively simple this uh, hard drive itself has been um, sold uh, as a standalone and um, is not set up to drive any uh, secondary hard drives hence the um, the blanks in place okay so let's see uh, how one of these runs for starters, it's connected to the Model 3 by a rather um, large 50 uh, conductor cable there. You can see a bit of it there. Connects between the um, expansion port of the Model 3 and the um, and the um, uh, hard drive itself. All right, so let's um, see this thing kicked into life. Okay, um, we turn the hard drive on, which will give it a few moments to spin up we'll switch on our model 3 and like a traditional model 3 it needs to be booted up from a floppy drive that's because the computer and the hard drive unlike a PC or a Mac doesn't have the smarts to, uh, to boot up a hard drive itself in its standard form okay once we've entered the date, which I'll just put any old date in. Okay, so that's now booted and the operating system's control has been transferred from the floppy disk to the hard disk. You probably saw the hard disk wink at us then to let us know that it's um, online. So we can actually take out the floppy disk and put it somewhere safe as the TRS-80 manual says to do and operate from here the hard drive so there's just a directory of what's on the first partition of the hard drive okay we can load a program one of the programs I used to use back in the day was called MAL MAL stood for modem algorithm it was a locally made here in Melbourne um, terminal program and it was great. 
So you saw how quickly it loaded a program up. That was a fairly large program, actually, probably about 16k. It loaded up in under a second, which is, or under a couple of seconds, which is from the TRS-80 days considered to be extremely fast for a program that size. I'll just um, quit out of that program, and we'll just show loading another typical game of the era, um, Meteor Mission 2. I still play from time to time. And there it's loaded up. Help. Yeah. Media mission two. So um, yeah, storing games for a, was probably a rather extravagant thing to do with a $4,000 hard drive, but that was one of the things I did with it. So anyway, that's a hard drive connected to a TRS-80 Model 4. Uh, thanks for watching.